but um, I think it's I think I think uh, you know uh, AI is is one of these technologies that has been around for a long time. I think that um, this new generation that we're seeing, uh, large language models uh, in particular, which is what ChatGPT is based on, what what I think what everyone's been talking about recently. I mean, I think the there was a real innovation. Uh, and, and by the way, many of you may know that the, the real fundamental innovation that, that enabled these large language models uh, was, was you know, uh, a group of researchers at Google, uh, including a, a very important uh, uh, researcher of Indian origin who did that, that work. Um, and so, you know, I think that there has been, but, you know, AI has been around for a long time, but I think it has clearly hit a point of inflection. And I think that large language models will have an interesting impact, I think a very significant impact. But, you know, large lang language models are just a subset of the much bigger generative AI um, category. And I think generative AI is going to be quite profound. Um, and so if I were an entrepreneur, uh, I'd be looking hard at all the opportunities that, that, that I think will clearly open up over the coming years. First of all, I think it's important to understand that these um, generative AI technologies are right at the, at the very early stages of their life cycles. So you have to think back around technologies and think about you know, what, what the cell phone was 20 or 30 years ago and what it's evolved to today, what the PC was 30 or 40 years ago and what it's become today. You think of any technology and how far it's come in 30 or 40 years, and then you look at how amazing ChatGPT is today, and just imagine what it's gonna be like 30 or 40 years from now. So you have to understand that we are at the Nokia of the cell phone industry with, um, you know, and we're gonna to get to the iPhone in, and it's not gonna take 20 or 30 years to get to that, it's gonna take five or 10 years, because that's just the nature of technology. So, Really, in a way, the question is not what can the technology, what can ChatGPT do, do today, but what is generative AI going to do, and what is it going to um, uh, enable over the next 10 years, I think, is the, is the right window. I think the most important and most interesting things, uh, which, which is quite profound, actually, I, mean, I think there are going to be lots of um, places where um, generative AI is going to be able to create drive efficiencies around the things that we do today. In fact, there's a new profession that's being formed called the prompt engineer, which is how do you prompt AI, how do you write the prompts in, in, intelligently. So, you know, anything that has to do with, um, you know, kind of manual processes, uh, all of that's going to get uh, uh, very automated. But I think we're, what's really going to be interesting are some of these creative areas that we're just starting to see. Uh, emerging. So, for example, if you haven't seen it, um, there's a, uh, a group of people who took every episode of Seinfeld um, and uh, fed it to an AI model and created a simulated uh, or a computer generated um, Seinfeld episode or series of episodes. I think it's called Watch Me Forever. And this, the computer just keeps generating Seinfeld on and on and on and on. But there's no doubt in my mind that um, generative AI and large language models and those technologies will make uh, the process of writing code, if not obsolete, far more efficient, far more um, productive. You're already seeing it with um, uh, Copilot, for example. Uh, for some of you that haven't checked out Copilot, you should. Uh, Copilot is a is a technology that, when, as you're writing code, suggests pieces of code uh, while you're writing um, so that you can just insert them into, into your code. And it's gone from, you know, being 5 or 10% effective, um, I think, three or four years ago, to now sort of 70% of the time that it recommends code, the developer looks at that code and says, yeah, I'm going to insert that code in, my, in, my, in what I'm writing. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty profound. Uh, and so if you believe that, you know, coding is going to be that um, uh, impacted, then that I think has significant impact, for, impact on the IT services industry. You've got to think about how you really, uh, you know, the IT services industry has been talking about this for years, is how do you really embed uh, IP into the services that you, 
you provide to customers.